Mazda have used the occasion of the Dubai International Motor Show to launch this, the new CX-5, into the premium crossover sector. It's a very crowded sector as we know, and uh, the CX-5 makes up about 25% of all of Mazda's sales. So it's very important that uh, the new vehicle is popular, successful. So in order to make it uh, attractive to customers and competitive in that sector, they've packed it absolutely full of technologies such as head-up display, numerous uh, safety sensing devices, uh, lane control. Uh, yeah, it's, it's absolutely packed. So we're going to take the vehicle out for a drive and put some of those technologies to the test. So, sitting in the uh, driver's seat of the CX-5, very, very nice, uh, clean, clinical looking here. I really like it, it looks sharp, the instruments are sharp, um, very easy to read, very clear, I really like them. Uh, the, the build quality is good, the, even the, although there's large areas of black plastic, it's a, like a soft feel plastic, it's, um, it's got nice stitching, looks good. Uh, you've got steering wheel controls for the cruise control, for the information which is on the display, for the volume and the like. The CX-5 has a huge number of safety features built in, uh, almost too many to remember the acronyms, but it has a safety braking system, so it's watching the, the vehicles in front, and if you don't brake in time, uh, it will apply the brakes for you. That also works at low speed in cities, it's looking, the camera fitted up here at the top of the, of the screen is looking for pedestrians stepping off of pavements and the like, so very, very good. You've got blind spot assistance uh, indicated in the mirrors. You've got lane keeping assistance, so the wheel nudges you slightly if you start to drift out the lane. Uh, and then if you do cross the lane, then you get a vibration in the wheel just to warn you that you're drifting. One fantastic feature uh, in this car is the head-up display. It's really applied well. It's subtle, it's uh, easy to read, it's clear. And the camera, uh, again, this, this camera up here is also looking for uh, speed signs. And I've noticed it's very, very accurate and very quick. When you go into an area and you see a, a 60 limit or an 80 limit sign, instantly the, uh, the heads up display is showing you. So you're never in danger of uh, inadvertently uh, breaking the uh, speed limit uh, because you're always being told. In terms of infotainment, nice, clear, simple screen to read here for the infotainment and the Bose sound system on here. I've counted eight speakers, there may be more, there might be a subwoofer, I'm not sure, but it sounds fantastic. The seats are both, the front seats are both electrically adjustable, uh, multi-position, variable, you've got presets for a, two different drivers and they're really nicely trimmed in this, uh, this white leather in this car, but uh, yeah, it's, they're comfortable, good, good position, very nice. The back seats obviously also trimmed in leather and they split in three. Most rear seats split in two ways, 60-40. These actually split sort of 30, 30 and uh, 40. So uh, it's nice um, if you've got uh, long luggage to put down through the center of the car, you can do that just by following the center section. The rear seats are equally comfortable, plenty of space back there as uh, I've done the Tim test. And yes, you can sit a six footer behind a front seat adjusted for a six foot driver. The centre uh, panel folds down, the centre seat uh, comes down and it's got two USB ports inside that, so you've got your drinks holders and two USB ports. So again, little touches, but nicely thought out and well executed. One very clever feature of the CX-5 is that the tailgate can be set to open to any particular height within its range. So if you have a low carport, for example, you don't want the tailgate to lift all the way up and hit the roof, you can preset it to stop at a certain height. One of the other things you can do with it is to make sure it doesn't hit you on the chin. In order to preset the tailgate position, you stop it while it's traveling by pressing the button once, then hold the button down until you hear those two beeps, and now it's preset to stop at that height. Close the boot, and that's the height at which it will stop. Mazda Sky Active System is what they refer to when they talk about the monocoque, the suspension, the engine response, etc., and the engine's 2.5 litres, which puts out a 190 horsepower. And it's all put together in a way that uh, makes it enjoyable for the, the driver to, to have a fun experience when they're driving. Now, I've personally owned a couple of Mazdas myself, and I've always found them great fun. They, they do handle well, and I've always enjoyed that about their cars.
I just spent the day driving the new Mazda CX-5 crossover around town, and I have to say I have thoroughly enjoyed the experience. I think it's a great looking car. Some of the vehicles in this market sector look a little bit generic, a little bit bland, but I think that the CX-5 has got a really nice style of its own. It also comes packed with safety features, which work really well, and they're not obtrusive. They actually help you to enjoy the drive, but they don't get in the way. It's got a really nice interior, well fitted, well finished, and it really makes you feel like it's a premium product, as it is. So if you are in the market for a new crossover, I would thoroughly recommend you head down to the Mazda showroom and take the new CX-5 out for a test drive. I think you'll be impressed.